The principal goal of conservation is to preserve a representation of life on this planet. But to do that, we have to preserve more than just an individual species. We have to preserve a functioning ecosystem where those species live. But how do we know where to preserve those ecosystems? We have to understand what biodiversity is. What we have to do is create first a map of biodiversity. The aspects of that map would include two important principles. The number of species found at a site and the limit of their distribution are the two factors that we will use to create a map of biodiversity for the island. This map is critical for conservation work. They will use this map to help decide where they should put the next protected areas. And our goal here in Madagascar is to help create a map of species richness for ants and other insects across Madagascar. Well, we've almost made it. We left the camp around 7.30 this morning. It's about noon now. Everybody's tired and hungry and we've made it to the top of Anjanahara Bay. And it's beautiful. We're the first group to ever come up here. We're the first group to ever camp up here. We made the trail yesterday during our reconnaissance and I'm sure we're gonna make great discoveries here. But first we need to get something to drink. Whew. One of the most exciting things about ants is their interactions with other insects and also with plants. And we have all three of that here. We have an ant that's actually tending another insect, herding them like cows, called a coxoid. This coxoid actually feeds the ants. How does it do it? Well, the coxoid drinks the sugary phloem of this plant and shares it with the ants. In exchange, the ant protects this coxoid from other insects that might eat it and actually carries them around and places them in the best place for it to grow. My feeling that the, the long-term sustainability of a conservation area depends on its importance and use by the local populations. You can protect something, but soon the pressures will mount for that area, especially if it's the only remaining forest. And you have to start early on developing the uses, the sustainable uses by the local populations to, make, to maintain the importance and the value of that forest to the local populations, not just the international community and the scientists who are excited about all the amazing animals found in that forest. Yeah, absolutely. The people here um, depend on the forest and they use it heavily. Or they can't uh, go to the store and buy a chair. They make it and um, they, uh, all their housing material comes from the forest and as soon as you uh, take away that value by turning it into a protected area and saying that they can't use it at all, mm -hmm. the forest loses value Exactly. for them and then so they're less inclined to protect so what we're going to do is try to set up limits that allow enough area for them to use so that um, they still value that forest and they and will want to maintain it and be a partner with us in conserving the larger area and that is the biggest challenge for management of a forested area is sustainable use yeah 